Tonight, a heartbroken community came together to pay tribute to the three Girl Scouts and a parent killed in a hit and run crash in Wisconsin this weekend. Lou Goose was at the vigil tonight and shows us how the community is remembering the victims. That's how I want to be your Girl Scouts gathering in song, providing comfort to the community after three girls and a mom were killed while doing what Girl Scouts do, helping others. They were very, very excited about doing the cleanup on Friday. They were excited about getting out with their families and doing something good. Troop 3055 adopted a stretch of Highway P and a group of about 15, mostly fourth graders and their families, were picking up trash in the shallow ditches Saturday just before noon when a pickup approached on the busy highway. Police say the car was heading north toward the overpass when he crossed completely across this lane of traffic and into the ditch where he hit the mom and the little girls. Debris from the truck straddled by tire tracks show where the driver didn't stop, instead driving back onto the highway and heading home where he was arrested later in the day. The superintendent says the victims were three little classmates and one mother, a community devastated. I want to thank everyone for their incredible support and especially our community. Chippewa Falls is a special place. It's unbelievable. You, you, you just stop and you think this can't have happened. It didn't happen in Chippewa Falls. So Sunday night, the tragedy very fresh. The community came together outside the elementary school the victims attended. Several hundred people. It does make my heart feel good to know that so many people are getting together. Comforted by young voices. Girl Scouts helping others, this time through anguish. In Chippewa Falls, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Lou Raguse, Care 11 News. Another girl hurt in the crash is still in critical condition. Tomorrow, counselors will be at the two schools that the girls went to. And the man accused of causing that crash is expected to be charged tomorrow as well. Well, since the crash, there's been support for the victims and their families from all over the world. Here's just a few of the comments. We're going to keep scrolling through them here. We'll keep following this out of Lake Halley, and we'll bring you in... Any updates tomorrow morning on Care 11 Sunrise on Facebook, on Twitter, and at care11.com.